The new update released a hidden feature that went unnoticed until a new event mail was released. You should have received a new mail the other day called Limited Recruitment Event. Obviously, it's called this due to the limited rewards you receive for spending your money. The contents of the mail aren't important for anyone, even spenders, because it's really that bad. Still, I'll discuss the mail first. Essentially, the mail lets you know that until the 23rd of July, players can select either Simeon the Great, Electra, Sorena, Philip II, or Ulysses S. Grant as a favorite general, and then obtain general fragments for that general through purchasing recruitment orders. Before we take a look at what that actually means, let me say that no one should pick Electra or Grant for the obvious reasons of them being easily obtainable in the tavern. So how does this work? It's pretty simple actually. You purchase packs in the shop that contain an item called recruitment orders. These are called the limited recruitment order packages. Here's an example of a $100 US package. It provides a premium token for an epic historic general, 225,000 gems, and 160 limited recruitment orders. It's pure awful. There's no event page as far as I could tell, so I can't confirm any of the following information directly. There's no way I will purchase this to demonstrate because, as usual, this event smells worse than a Taco Bell washroom. From everything I see, it's beyond bad and certainly not worth wasting your money on. Still, here's how I think it works. If you make the terrible mistake of purchasing this package, I mean, what other explanation is there? The limited recruitment orders will appear in your inventory. When you use this item from the inventory, you will select a general and receive fragments for that general that you selected. You can use either 1 or 10 orders at a time. Simple enough. If that's not how it works, I'm sure a good Samaritan will let us know how it works in the comments, so you can check there. But really, if you are going to spend on this game, don't do it in this event. Now on to the more important part of the mail. At the very bottom, you will see that you can now provide feedback for specific types of announcement mails, like this one, to let Evany know how you feel about their events. Now, in my opinion, this limited recruitment event isn't a very good spending event, but it's also not a game-breaking event that infuriates players. It's just a so-so sort of event that people look at and move on with their lives. I'd love to share with you the current stats of the mail, but unfortunately, it has disappeared. Even accounts that aren't stuffed with garbage mails in the announcements section don't seem to have it anymore. I'm not sure if it has been removed or if it has naturally disappeared like announcement mails seem to do. Here's a picture submitted by someone on my Discord from two days ago. Yesterday morning, the event had about 10.6 thousand thumbs up and 4.7 thousand thumbs down. People are certainly not in love with this event, but it's still more positive than it is negative. If you still have the mail somehow, let us know the current up and down stats. Honestly, I think lots of people just hit like buttons for no other reason than that the button exists. That reminds me, hit the like button on this video, wink wink. Really, 10.6 to 4.7 is not a good ratio at all. But it could get worse. Much worse. It's hard to believe, but some events are even worse than this one and I can't wait for the moment they release one of those events again so I can watch those thumbs down skyrocket. Since the likes and dislikes are public, we can see whether players approve or not. I'm anticipating that this will become a way for players to voice their discontent with the game. When it does, and these event mails are spammed by a massive influx of dislikes, will this feature be removed from the game to censor how players really feel? Evany certainly isn't against censoring what they don't approve. My recent video was removed from their Discord because I reported that players were unhappy and that groups of people were getting together to stop spending until Evany was willing to start listening to player concerns. I think this feature will be removed too, when it starts going in a direction they don't want it to. Or else something sneaky behind the scenes will prevent dislikes from climbing too high. I mean, it would be very underhanded to manipulate the truth, but there's no law stating that these likes and dislikes within the game have to be accurate. I think they are accurate right now, but for all we know, clicking the buttons in the future might not actually do a thing. I guess we'll find out what they will do when everyone starts spamming the dislike button on announcement mails. I'm really excited to see what happens with this. I'll have my popcorn machine on standby. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos 
on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.